When unboxing the Sonic Aid Team 3 Fetal Monitor, the unit is below the accessories box. Note that in addition to the accessories box, depending on options, some transducers may be stored in the side of the main packing box as shown. There are a number of different accessories and options to choose from when ordering, depending on the needs and preference of the user. Here are some of the available options. A basic Team 3A. A Team 3A fully loaded. A basic Team 3I. And a fully loaded Team 3I. On the front of the unit, you will find the following. Large colour screen. Printer. Two FHR input sockets for the ultrasound transducers. In Team 3i models, any one of these can be also used for FECG monitoring. Touch on off switch. Optional third FHR input socket for triplet monitoring. Contractions input socket. The right side of the screen features maternal SpO2 socket, maternal ECG socket, blood pressure connector, two transducer mounting points with another two on the opposite side. The back of the unit features mains input socket, fetal movement marker input socket, serial port for communication with our Sonic Aid software systems. Wireless interface socket for connection of our SonicAid Freedom wireless transducer accessory. Ethernet port. Currently only used for engineering purposes. Full Ethernet support for connection to software systems is planned for a future software release. Two USB ports. These are used to upgrade the software, manage the trace database, and for customizing settings such as languages and annotations. The left side of the unit features a loudspeaker, two additional transducer mounting points, touch the power button on the right hand side of the unit as shown. This is touch sensitive so only a light touch is required. After a short delay, the power button lights up green and a loading screen shows on the unit. You may also hear a bleep. After a short startup period, the unit is ready for use. Along the bottom of the screen, you will find a number of function buttons. Printer on off button. Paper feed. Trace big numbers view. Use this to switch between the trace view and big numbers view during live traces. Volume buttons. Doors Redman CTG analysis. If unavailable, you will be alerted as to why. In this case, we need to set the gestational age of the patient. Note the warning that if unused probes are left plugged in, for example, a second ultrasound transducer when monitoring a singleton pregnancy, this will affect the analysis. Gestational age is set by clicking the top of the screen as shown. Selecting the gestation field and entering either the gestational age, date of the last menstrual period, or the estimated due date. Entering any one of these will automatically update the other two. Click the X to return to the home screen. The Doors Redman CTG analysis can now be run. The first result is available after just 10 minutes and can be viewed on screen. The results are also printed at the end of the trace. 
Easy Notes. This allows the trace to be annotated with predefined messages, organised in up to 12 categories and up to 12 messages in each category. This is also a mark button, which marks the trace allowing a handwritten note to be added later. All categories and messages are fully customizable. This example shows seven categories and in the drugs category, seven sample messages. Enter the trace screen by clicking the function button. Along the right side of the screen, you will see the heart rate value. If twins or triplets are being monitored, you will see their individual colour-coded heart rates. The contractions value can also be seen. Press the drop-downs to view the SpO2, maternal heart rate and the latest blood pressure reading. Note that you cannot view the SpO2 and the maternal heart rate at the same time in trace view. Switch back to the numbers view for this. When you make any setting changes, for example an alarm setting change, these are used just for the current session. When you switch the unit off, these local settings will revert back to the default settings at the next switch on. This section shows how to save the current local settings as the new default settings. Enter the settings screen, select secure settings and enter the PIN code. Then select Settings followed by Settings Management. Select Save Local Settings to save them as the new default settings. To restore the factory default settings, select Apply Defaults. With the unit on and the transducers correctly positioned on MUM, a fetal heart rate will show on screen. This can be changed to Trace View by simply pressing the button as shown. If a fetal movement marker is connected and pressed by mum, a marker appears on screen and on the printed trays. Different style markers are also printed towards the top of the fetal heart rate scale to show movement detected by the automatic fetal movement detector when using ultrasound to monitor the fetus. To set up demo mode, enter the settings menu by clicking the function button along the bottom. Select secure settings and type in your passcode. To select demonstration mode, click settings and then demonstration. You can select from the trace example shown. Select one. Now restart the unit. You are now in demonstration mode. To exit, simply switch the unit off. At the next switch on, the unit defaults back to normal mode.